Society paints their pictures, right? Society paints their pictures, right? Society paints their pictures, right? Build a Society paints their pictures, right? Created a whole concept called black and white. Eugenics in the globe is how we live it, right? The caste system, modern day in plain sight. Do diligence, do diligence, do diligence, fuck that. I'm John Dillinger, I lay a pig with his cuss flat. Behind his sentence, I know I will receive much flat. But I'm the type of dude, if I said it, I meant that. Build a wall, build a bridge, I'm building with tough cats. Never building in the bird like a general with a tough hat. Send a nigga, any nigga, get him wax for a dope hat. I ain't even in the streets no more, I'm building on that. I'm out sometime this year, me say, but I'm pretty sure you got something from it. For the people that just came in the stream, now tuned in to Chief Save Indigenous. Higher, 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 higher power back in the booth. You know, but let's put it like this. Look, I'm gonna go ahead and do a whole breakdown on the Moors. I need to get I should get my other phone and change the topic and just change it to Moors, Murs, Moorish America. Because I really was supposed to destroy all this nonsense last year. I really was supposed to destroy all this nonsense last year before they even popped up trying to trying to be culture vultures and claim our culture and snatch and war and debate and I really had all that in a choco but you know what I'm saying I lost all my notes and stuff y'all know I was streaming and making all my content from an iPhone 7 plus and that iPhone 7 plus is gone so bear with me but so a lot of bills we lost a lot of bills but hey I'm a master builder so we're gonna keep building so but see Nova Drew Ali brung that term for a certain group of people at a certain time look at 1913 AD that's after death so let's call it 1913 Christian era CE you get what I'm saying because we you know it's, 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 it's up for debate whether Jesus died or not in some groups it's up for debate it's up for and I don't want to debate you get what I'm saying so I'm gonna keep it all cool and calm and collective and just call it what it is 1913 CE, which is Christian era. Okay. So, what was going on? Anyway, let's, let's look at development and stuff around that time, 1913 AD. Okay, they say slavery stopped. Uh, what, they were emancipated in 1865, somewhere around there. 1865, Emancipation Proclamation. Some just just don't don't quote me y'all just look it up you know what I'm saying you know I'm just I don't got Google or Wikipedia you know what I'm saying to rely on like some of these brothers so you know what I'm saying some of my information may be off by a year a decade or something but it's always gonna be right and exact the truth there's only two things in the world truth and falsehood there's no in between it's truth and falsehood you're either on the left you're either on the left handed path or the right handed path I I did the wrong hand on purpose y'all but um. Check me out. It's a joke. It's an inside joke between me and my ex-wife. You know what I'm saying? She always got a left and a right confused. Anyway, um, check this out. So, let's look at the... I love you too. Too and me too. Okay, okay. That was up. That was up, shot. But uh, check me out. 1913 AD. We have the advent. Now, these words I'm using, these words are very specific the reason why I'm using these words is because these are the words that we should use when we're talking about history not his story but mystery my story our story our story you get what I'm saying when we're talking about the 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 legends from our time Noble Drew Ali, Marcus Garvey, Elijah Muhammad, Father Time, um, Dr. Ben Ami these type people, when we're talking about these type people, we got to use certain words. The advent. Advent means the coming forth. Not invent, the advent, like an adventure. Because when these people came forth, they started the world, our part of the world, the poor part of the planet Earth, onto an adventure. So we say, with the advent of Noble Drew Ali in 1913, Noble Drew Ali was born in 1886. I think, y'all know, I'm just a little rusty. I ain't been on here in forever. But you know what I'm saying? So, no draw, was born around like 19, I mean 1886. No, nah, that's not right. Anyway, we'll get it. We'll get it correct. I'll go back and check. You know what I'm saying? But I think no draw, was around 27 when he established the Moore Science Temple of America. Now, we got to realize that 
during that time, for y'all new people that's in the stream, make sure you hit the like. You're now tuned in to Chief Savior Indigenous. Higher, higher, higher power back in the booth. Don't make me go Super Saiyan in this joint. But check me out. Um, now, around 1913, we have the Industrial Revolution. We have the Industrial Revolution. We have technology starting to spring forth. We have the first combustible engine going into a vehicle by Henry Ford, who stole that invention, by the way. We'll talk about that at a later time. But we have the first invention. I mean, we have the first combustible engine, which means gas power engine. So, boom, we got the steam-powered trains. We got locomotives. We got these type things developing. So, word in his literature and his pamphlets could travel faster, at a faster rate than, per se, um... You get what I'm saying? Check this out. Hang in there. Good to see you, bro. Okay, okay. That's what's up, man. I ain't going nowhere. I ain't going nowhere. I got my vocals fixed, but I ain't going nowhere, y'all. Like, they been sleeping on me, you know what I'm saying? But I ain't tired. I'm up. Higher, higher, higher power. You know what I'm saying? I'm up. But you know what I'm saying? That's why I'm a master storyteller, because I'm telling our story. Now, check me out. Always tune in for our story here on this channel. You know what I'm saying? So check me out. Master historian right in your face. You know what I'm saying? No, I don't have any. Uh, y'all, it's a selfie stick. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I got it propped up so I can see y'all. Y'all can see my hand movements and things of that nature. Y'all got me in full, full view. I'm liking that. I don't have any sources, any computers, any tablets, any databases, any Wikipedias, no Googles. This is coming straight from brain. So if I'm misquoted, which I'm hardly ever going to be misquoted, Y'all just rock with me and know that, hey, the brother had good intention. He's not trying to lead us astray. You get what I'm saying? That's the difference. Other people will purposely misquote something. But when I don't have a right and exact date, I'm going to say so. So let's say, Noble Drew Ali born in 1886. Just look it up. I don't know. Look it up. I think I'm around the right date. Because I know he was roughly 27 years old when he, at the advent of him popping up on the scene as a soapbox. Now look. YouTube, right? Now, I'm just going to be breaking down shit. Like, I mean, excuse me. I, don't, I really don't try to curse no more. But, um, not curse. Cuss. I don't really try to use that type of language anymore. You know what I'm saying? But, um, let me say this. While I'm, while I'm bringing forth this knowledge about the Moors, also going to set the scene about history during that time so we can keep it going, keep it rolling. That's what people got to learn how to do when they're talking about building. It's about building up from the least common de denominator, breaking something down to the least common denominator and building it back up piece by piece by piece by piece. So I can't tell you about the Moors without telling you about the scenery. So we have the Industrial Revolution going on around this time. We have new inventions popping up. Yesterday I told y'all that invention means something that's inside bending out. So we see that locomotion comes from breathing. Looking at the breathing in the inner chamber we have inside that heats up air and circulates it through our blood. And that's where you get locomotion from. You get what I'm saying? All inventions are just... We're going to keep rocking out. My bad, y'all. Y'all know I can get sidetracked. But check me out. Now, Noble Ali, 1913 AD, 1913 CE, Christian area, right? He was a soapbox teacher. He was a soapbox teacher. We said only wise piece to you as well. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank y'all. Thank y'all for um, chatting up in the stream. Y'all keep, you know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all hit that like. When new people come in, make sure y'all greet them and stuff. Appreciate y'all. Uh, I'm not on my channel, The American. Uh, I'm not on YouTube, so I can't get you a wrench, man. But you come back in the stream. Next time I'm streaming from YouTube, I get you a wrench. And on, on my channel, the wrench don't mean moderator. The wrench is like saying that, hey, you was here. You get what I'm saying? Like, hey, you 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 messed with the stream. You good. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's more like membership instead of like block people and stuff. I don't block anybody. I don't delete comments or anything. But anyway, so he was a soapbox teacher. Now, here on YouTube... That's what we really are. Do y'all know that? Me, Young Pharaoh, Sarin Sudan Seti, Dane Calloway, Atoshinist One, um, everybody, Aboriginal Power, um, we're all soapbox. We're just coming, we're just bringing the past back. We're the revitalization of the ancients. We're soapbox teachers. 
You get what I'm saying? We're standing on top of our soapbox. That's what they used to do. Do y'all realize that's what it means? Oh, he's up on his soapbox. That's because they used to have crates, right? And I'm just giving history lessons as I go, but I'm finna go in on the Moors. I'm finna go in on the word black, all that. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna keep it rocking. Mm. No truly all that. But I just gotta paint the picture. You know what I'm saying? I gotta paint the picture, y'all, so we have the proper settings. Now check me out. In these terms, these terms, you know what I'm saying, you should know. You know what I'm saying? Some of these terms we should all know, we should use, because you know what I'm saying? Like that's how you know when you really studied the ancients, you know what I'm saying? So Marcus Garvey, Noble Drew Ali, uh, the people of that time in that era, what they would do is they didn't have stages, they didn't have pool pits. So they would go get an empty crate, which was called a soapbox. They would get an empty crate and go to the most public place they could find with a heavy traffic. And they would set that soapbox down, get on top of their soapbox, and talk they talk. Just like we get on YouTube, we start our stream and we talk our talk. Except back then, this is the difference. I'm more like a soapbox teacher because I talk my talk live. I'm not good with making content, making videos, and push. If y'all want to be um, fascinated by images, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'll do it. I get more views when I fascinate people with imagery and stuff. But, hey, Google only has so many images. Y'all ain't y'all tired of seeing the same images? Y'all ought to be tired of seeing the same old pictures and the same old slideshows. So that's why I like live streaming more because I'm we we passed the slideshow stage in our lives. But I can make them. I'm gonna make some. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna keep making them. But I'm saying we should be past that. And this is I'm on my soapbox right now. You get what I'm saying? I'm I'm standing up in a public place, social media, and declaring what I my truth, declaring the truth. In my perception of the truth. You get what I'm saying? So that's what soapbox was back then. They used to. So Nova Dry Lee. Look. Let me paint the picture. Nova Dry Lee would go get his little soapbox. Boom. Marcus Garvey. Go get their soapbox. Like um, another soapbox teacher right now is um, Sarnetta. Even though Sarnetta is a doofus. You know what I'm saying? Even though Sarnetta has no knowledge of self. He has no knowledge of self. He's more like a dying king of the community. You know what I'm saying? He's just setting stuff up. And making his little money off the, you know what I'm saying? He getting his money off the back end. Y'all yeah, know what Sidenetter, y'all know who Sidenetter is and what Sidenetter does. But in all actuality, Sidenetter is bringing back that soapbox culture. That's what I'm going to call it, y'all. Y'all heard it here first, soapbox culture. This is what our culture is, y'all. Like, believe it or not, it's simple as that. Not the indigenous, not the aboriginal, not our individual culture as a whole. I'm saying this teaching method we do is called the soapbox culture, y'all. This is a soapbox method. That means we're getting up with our individual understanding and comprehension and we're declaring to the world how we see the truth. You know what I'm saying? And like, so what he's doing over there on 103rd, I don't know. It's called Black News 102, but I swear I think he's on 103 Street. But whatever street he's on, how he's going to go set up shop, putting his boards out, his pictures, his um, things of that nature, and then he's declaring, he's having people declare truth as they see it, that's soapbox culture, and Sarnetta revitalized that soapbox culture, and now us as individuals on our platforms, we're, we're living it up too. That's enough about the soapbox culture. But anyway, Marcus Garvey, Nova Dry Lee, they used to get a little crate, stand on top of it, and declare to the world. Now, did they invent that? No. This is the same thing they did in the Bible. Have you heard of the Wailing Wall? Where the two, the two um, angels, prophets, or whatever, the two prophets or angels used to go by the wailing wall and wail. That's why they call it the wailing wall because everybody used to come to that wall with their own interpretations of the truth, their own belief systems or whatever, systems of science, mathematical systems or whatever, and they would stand there and the people would come to see them and hear them and see what, do they agree. And debate them and things of that nature. It's that we've been had a debate culture. It comes out of the Bible. It goes before the Bible. It predates all of that. You get what I'm saying? Like everything, everything under the sun has not been done. But a lot of things that we do are recirculated ways and recirculated culture. The culture keeps going on and on and on and on. My cipher keys moving like a rolling stone. Peace, Erica. But look, 
that's bait too. Somebody tell Eric I'm looking for in broad daylight with a flashlight. I swear. But um, yeah, that's right. Right. The culture just keeps going. Now check me out. Check Chief out real fast. Hey, and this is what I want to say, y'all. When I when I used to turn chief, y'all, that's just that's just we all chiefs. A chief can be a part of a tribe and still be a chief. We all chiefs, y'all. So don't think that, like when y'all hear me say chief, like I'm not saying that I'm I'm just the the chief and everybody is under me. That's narcissism. I don't have any narcissistic traits. I don't I don't spend time in the mirror. I don't get prettied up. I don't get fresh clean. I ain't putting my goals in. None of that to get on camera with y'all. I'm just being myself. You get what I'm saying? I don't have narcissistic traits. I am a chief. You know what I'm saying? I'm a chief in my own right. It's up on each individual to be a chief in their own right. Not right, R-I-G-H-T, but R-I-T-E. Yes, we are all chief. We are all chiefs. We are all priests unto themselves. We all priests. It's on us to go get them scriptures and break it down and build it back up for our individual selves and our individual families. You get what I'm saying? That's how it really goes. That book, that's why they have so many Bibles. They don't have so many Bibles for you to read along with people. They got so many Bibles for you to go take that Bible and learn self. To take that that Torah and learn self. To take that Quran and learn self. To take them Hadith and learn self. That's what those books are produced in mass levels for. Books are produced in mass levels for each person's individual understanding. We each have our own individual comprehension and understanding, y'all. Like, we all gonna A alike. We all gonna A alike. We all gonna be alike. We won't all see alike. We won't all see alike. That knowledge, that wisdom, but that understanding. We're all knowledge the same. We can all get the same knowledge. We can all have the same amount of wisdom if we want. But we won't all have the same understanding. Does that make one person wrong and one person right? No. What that makes is one person having a different understanding or overstanding or understanding of the same truth. Because truth is unchangeable and unmovable. It's the only force that higher, higher, higher power. <laughs> Y'all tuned in to Chief Sabian Indigenous up in the joint. All right, so look. We way back in history right now, y'all. We way back in 1913 A.D. right now. We didn't tuck it back. I'm talking way back. Hey, you power. Now, look, check me out. Now, okay, so we, we discussed, like, how, what was, what was Noble Drew Ali's teaching method? Soapbox, just like Marcus Garvey, just like the rest of the greats from the ages. You know what I'm saying? That's how they talk. So it was a more of a public thing, just like YouTube. I'm on my soapbox right now. Capiche? All right. Cool, let's build. Now, the reason why I brought up 1913 is to say, like, during that day and era, what was the condition of our people? What was the condition of our people at that day and era? At that time, that's why, because I already stated that more, we're not all Moors. We're not all Moors. We're not all Moors, y'all. I don't think none of us are Moors. But I'm saying at that day and age, in 1913 AD, Noble Drew Ali had to bring something that the people could comprehend. He had to bring a new definition to people who wouldn't define themselves. We wouldn't define ourselves. Just like now in this day and era, we refuse to define ourselves. We let so many other people and things and socials and politicals and different groups and everybody defines us. But we don't define ourselves. And that's what you got to realize the chaos we're dealing with today where we just take a name and run with it. The chaos where no one won't research. No one won't read a book. No one won't hide anything from a nigga in a book. You get what I'm saying? Like this is the day and age that we're living in now. It's just history repeating itself. Nobody Dry Lee lived in the same day and age. So check me out. Check me out. Check me out. Testing. One, two, three. Testing. One, two, three. You now in here with the chief. Say B. All right, now check this out. Okay, let me swing my little door back open for my uh my stream um get messed up. Everybody, make sure you like the stream. Make sure you create playlists. Put my videos in it with your other um favorite. I don't know what you call them. You the other guys are YouTubers. I'm a content creator. You know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm saying. Put make make your little playlist with other YouTubers and then put your favorite content creator, which is no. I said which is no which is 
Chief Sabian Disney's. Put me in there with it, you know what I'm saying? With any history channels or anything, y'all just, we got to get the information circling, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, so right now, we didn't, I'm a master of time, by the way. We are now back in time in 1913 AD, and we're looking at the situation and condition of our indigenous people, our aboriginal people, our copper tone people, our olive tone people, our so-called black people. In 1913, what were we? We were deaf, we were dumb, we were blind, we were oppressed, we were being slaughtered in the streets, our women were being raped, our children were being beat, our children were being captured and sold and incarcerated and things of that nature, just like we're going through today. We're still deaf, we're still dumb, we're still blind, we still won't read, we still won't speak out against oppression, we still getting oppressed, we still getting killed in the streets, we're still getting, our women are still getting raped, our women are still selling themselves short, we are still selling ourselves short as men, and a lot of us aren't men, and a lot of our women aren't women. Capiche? Let's move forward, let's build. So, painting that picture, in 1913, 1913 AD, but now look. He had to bring something. Now look. Have y'all ever noticed? Check me out. Have y'all ever noticed that Moors, right? Have anybody in anybody in the chat ever read a Circle 7 Quran? We absorb information and we retain what resonates to you and create our own book of self-knowledge. Yes, indeed. Knowledge itself, science of everything in life. Everything in life is inside of us. By the read, I've, I've I got so many books written, y'all, it don't even make sense, y'all, but they right here in the mind, and I'm expressing these oral books as a master storyteller. But um, check me out, check me out. Now, has anybody ever picked up the Moorish Holy Quran or Circle 7 Quran? Has anybody ever ch picked up a Circle 7 Quran or a Moorish Holy Quran? Okay, now within that, you know, you have. People say it's plagiarized, but hey, I say information is free. I say information at that day and age, there was no copyright. There was no copyright office and all of that stuff going on. And if there was, Negroes weren't using it. Check me out. So, whether Noble Drew Ali plagiarized from Levi Dowling or from Unto Thee I Trust, I mean, unto, unto the I grant, which is where the section of, um, you know what I'm saying, the moral conduct section of the MHK. Look, let me tell y'all about the MHK. When I say MHK, I'm talking about the Circle 7 Quran or the Moorish Holy Quran. It's a 64-page book about this thing. Damn, people got to stop sending me notifications. Uh, it's a 64-page book about this thing, y'all. The original color was thin. And I think it had red, a red circle seven on the front of it. It had a red circle and a seven, right? Now, that book, in them 64 pages, it consists of 48 chapters. In those 48 chapters, the last four chapters are actually written by Noble Drew Ali. And that's the key part of that circle seven. That's what people don't realize. That key part of that Circle 7 Quran is the last four chapters where he talks about the migration of Ham and, um, and Canaan. He talks about the split. He talks about Africa being a demarcation line. That continent being demarcated and that's what Ethiopia means. A demarcation line. A split between father and son. And we're going to talk about that in another bill. I ain't going to get on that because I, I understand what the demarcation line was, is, and is still now today. You get what I'm saying? And that's what people got to wake up to. But check me out. chat. So it may just be on top chat. So if I'm missing your comment, y'all, I apologize. But right now, we're, we're not even in the year 2020. We've rewound time to the year 1913 AD. And we're trying to, we're trying to see what would make Noble Drew Ali call us Moors or bring that piece of information to a certain group of people because, hey, I'm not affiliated with the Moor Science Temple of America. I'm not affiliated with any known religious organization, any known, any of that. But I am a historian. I am a Moorish historian. I am a, a, a biblical scholar. I'm a Moorish scholar. I'm a Quranic scholar. I'm 
I study these things. I'm a historian, you know what I'm saying? So it's here. I have no wiki. I have no Google. I have no notes. I'm using a selfie stick that I have propped up with my phone on it, y'all. That's all in, in me. It's just me, you, and the selfie stick. And we eat back in the booth. She say the indigenous higher, higher, higher power. Okay, and I got my coveralls on. All right, because it's a little chilly outside. But anyway, now, the reason why I brought up the Circle 7 Quran, the Moorish Holy Quran as it is, is because in that literature, in that literature, that pamphlet, because it's really a pamphlet, just like the other pamphlets that was written by Noble Drew Ali, which I've read all of them, the um the constitution and bylaws the the um all of them the prophecies and sayings and that wasn't written by Noble Ali but it was written by reliable sources you know what I'm saying that was considered like Noble Ali's high thief and Noble Ali did prophesy so that's why I was call him the prophet Noble Ali y'all and this is what I'm just going to I'm going to say he is a prophet just on the strength that he said at the end times there would be there would be roads going five high in the sky there's no way he could have known anything about freeways there was no freeways being built at that time my grandfather worked on the railroad his whole life he'd been working on the rail. he's been working on the rail from texas to tennessee to to, to california to uh, to every place in the world my grandfather built the railroads and stuff and my grandfather grew up in the 30s and 40s there was no damn freeways. So how the hell did Noble Drew Ali know that, that we would be five in the sky? Roads would be stacked five high in the sky. So that's why I would give him, you are the indigenous really, bro. I like that name. Oh, yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. I'm going to keep it all the way 100. I'm a realist. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to look at stuff from an unbiased standpoint, period. I'm not going to. I'm not going to get on here and badger Noble Drew Ali for what he did with the best that he could do at that day and time. That's what people got to stop doing. Kareem or how that culture vulture. Stop doing. Y'all, I get it real in my feelings whenever y'all do one of our ancestors like that. Them are our ancestors, bro. You live in South America, bro. You're not part of this culture, bro. You really a culture vulture, Kareem or how Your videos are cool. Hey, power to the people. But at the same time, bro, stop being a culture vulture and don't do our ancestors like that. Period. Don't speak on our ancestors. The ones that's living over here, the ones that died. That man was assassinated. Just because he uses a word that you don't... I'm good. Don't cast spells on people. Your hands are way too busy. Hey, bye. Get out of my chat. Bye. Just get out of my chat. Because I don't cast spells. I'm not a spellcaster. But anyway, um, check me out. The reason why my hands are moving like this because I literally want to grab some of these guys by their necks and just... Ah. You get what I'm saying? Like, my hands are moving because I'm very adamant about this, sis. If you don't like the way my hands are moving, get out my stream. Yeah, we, we talk with our hands. That's, what, that's how we do it, sis. Like, that's what we do. You know what I'm saying? I'm painting a picture. I'm an artist. I could paint you. Like, if I had a picture of you, I'm not on the YouTube app, so I can't even see your avatar. But I could paint you if you wanted me to, sis. I'm a real artist. I could sit there and paint you in every detail. But people don't even see that side of me. But anyway, it's like this. I'm not I'm not on here. Listen, y'all. And this is what you... By Satan see Deuces. This is what I... Anyway, for the rest of y'all in the chat, I'm explaining something that I was finna explain to her. But this is what I'm saying. The difference from... The signs you're going to see me doing, the, 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 the ways my hands are moving. Remember, y'all, I'm conscious. I'm conscious of how my hands are moving at all times. You're never going to see me doing any 666s. Six, six, you're never going to see me doing any devil horns. You're never going to see me doing any baphomet. You're never going to see me doing any of this type stuff. You're never going to see me doing them type of Freemasonic signs. So if my hands offend you, that means you've been... In, You've been around Freemasons because my hands only offend Freemasons. I'm just warding off the, the evil out the stream. When you see my hands moving, and that's the reason why I went and bought a selfie stick and a tripod. Because I need my hands moving in the chat. Because when you go to these other dudes' lives and stuff, they're casting spells on you. And I'm warding this off. I'm warding these Masons out of my chat. So if there's any Freemasons or Eastern Stars in the chat, they're not going to stay in here. 
So a uh, sis, I, apparently you come from an Eastern Star background. You get what I'm saying? But anyway, devil, I'm not going to let you um, deter us. We way back in 1913. I don't know where you at. But check me out. So I'm warding the chat. So when you see me moving my hands, y'all, I'm casting the devil up out of here. That's why she couldn't stay up in here. Speak on it, family. Bless. Oh, you know. You know, meaty. Yeah, you know I'm going to go in. Like, for real, for real. Y'all hear the passion in my voice. Like, I get really. Don't ever put that on me, sis. Whoever she was. Moderators, like, people like her. Tell her ass up. Like, people like her, she come in my chat. Nah, get up out of here. Because y'all know we don't do that. I pull the covers. Yeah, I pull the covers. Hiya, 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 power. I pull the covers off all Freemasonic organizations, all secret society, all Illuminati. I got an Illuminati video coming up, too, just for her. I exposed that shit. Y'all know me. I exposed that. When Sergeant Susan said he was talking about he traveling and all that, I exposed that. Y'all didn't know Sergeant Susan said he was a Freemason, and he's saying it right in front of y'all face. Doing us all like this with his cap and stuff, throwing up that... Bathroom it on us and stuff. Yeah, I ran his ass off. Y'all got to remember who y'all dealing with this indigenous realist, y'all. He's still in here. You know what I'm saying? Chief Sabi, more calm, cool, and connected. I'm just, you know what I'm saying? I'm just kicking flavor. You know what I'm saying? But indigenous realist still up in here. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real, for real. But anyway, y'all, back to back. Hey, man, we 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 just chilling. You know what I'm saying? Let me get my Uncle Yaya on. You know what I'm saying? If y'all ain't read the book Uncle Yaya, go check out Uncle Yaya. I am Uncle Yaya. All right, check this out. So anyway, y'all, anyway, she got me totally out of my vibe, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm an empath, and I feel I feel ma malignant energies. When the malignant energy come up in here, I feel it, y'all. And that inner being inside of me comes up to want to war with that being, y'all. And you got to just stop yourself. You got to calm down and say, Hiya, hiya, hiya. You know what I'm saying? Let that out. But anyway, y'all, we building yeah, yeah, don't worry about it. Yeah, she just was a little troll. Trolls run up on me right now. Should I run? Should I take you out to lunch? Nah, anyway. Uh, I miss with a little Kodak. You know what I'm saying? Kodak a little devil too. But uh, anyway, y'all, we finna build past that. Don't worry about her. We ain't got to worry about her, y'all. Y'all now tuned in to Chief Sabian Disney's higher power. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying higher power either, either y'all. I had to correct somebody yesterday. I'm not saying higher power. It just sounds like it. If that's what people hear, that's what they hear. But Noble Drew Ali, right? Noble Drew Ali brought the information for the best he could at that point in time. I was talking about the culture vulture, Korean or how, and he couldn't respond. Okay, okay, that was us, sis. Let me see. That's. My bad, y'all. You know, everybody text message. Y'all probably texting while y'all talking. Just pardon me. Let me get my text on too, y'all. All right, check me out. Let me check. Make sure my, I'm not muted. Okay, my vitals good. Stream running 720p. Okay. Now check me out. Check me out. That sister really came in here and threw me off, y'all. Y'all know I. That's how. I, that's just how I am, and I have to break myself from that, y'all. But I'm a real empath, y'all, and I'm fully awakened, y'all. So when malignant forces come in, they just throw off my mood. I go in battle. I go in battle zone. You know what I'm saying? I go in. But anyway, y'all, let me move closer to the sunlight. See, the sun is rotating, y'all. If y'all don't know that, the sun is ever rotating. So you got to chase the sun. You got to change your angles. You don't ever, you don't look up. To, when the last time you looked up to get some sunlight? Let me look up to get some sunlight. When the last time you ever seen the sun above your head? Never in a day, y'all. Never in a day. And that sun is spiraling in a... We're not going to on that, y'all. Hey, but y'all know... Ah, y'all see me? I'm in country mode. My bad. My bad, y'all. A little selfie stick spent. Okay, I got in some better lightning. Let me move this little... I got my uh my mosquito net. Let me, let me curl up my curtain, which is my mosquito net. Out my doorway. Uh, y'all excuse me, man. I, I love building. I love dropping these jewels, y'all, because these are real jewels. You can go to anybody with any of this information that's sourced from me. Oh, we got excellent signal, too. With my information, damn, I had dirt in my eye. With my information, y'all, this shit better than wicked. This shit better. Who said bless? I didn't even see nobody up here. Oh, that's media, media resurrected. Take your time, fam. You Gucci. Okay, okay, okay. Got to be seeing the numbers jump. 
and I be thinking I'm moving too slow and stuff like that. I stopped smoking cigarettes, y'all. This is is um, straight tobacco. I'm trying to get off that nicotine. But I still, you know, I need to smoke. And have y'all noticed that? Like, that's what that's what people do. Like, malignant forces. I'm going to talk about that. We're going to do another stream on that one day, y'all. We're going to, hey, anything you want or need, like, any any kind of topics, any kind of subjects or anything, y'all y'all know where it's at. Y'all know I'm a one-stop shop. Y'all know where it's at. Y'all know where it's at. Now I'm gonna proceed. She didn't like them signs. She didn't like. She didn't like my hand movement. Them ain't signs. Them are mannerisms. I'm a man. I'm a man. Coming in my manner. I'm a man. No, it's them. You know, I'm a man, so when I'm talking and I'm moving, I'm I'm sending vibrations, pushing out that manly force. You get what I'm saying? Like let's let's break down these words to to the least common denominator, and then we can build them back up. That's etymology. That's the purest form of etymology there is. It's breaking it down. Y'all see my etymology dictionary? It's about this thick. I don't have it anymore. Fortunately, I lost it when I became homeless. But it's gonna come back. I lost my black law dictionaries. My uh my I lost all my literature. It'll come back, y'all. It's just it's just I got it. I am the literature. I am the literature. That's the thing. I am the literature. But um anyway, y'all, let me go back in. My frame's good. I'm putting out a billion frames per second. My bad, y'all. Somebody, a little devil came in here, but um, check me out. Ooh, I don't like that. All right, where were we? Be on the lookout for my Inspector General series, y'all. I'm taking culture vultures heads off. I don't like that. I don't like that, y'all. It's cool for the dude to promote our culture, but, bro, you're not part of our culture. Don't speak on our ancestors, period. No, but Drew Ali was one of the greatest minds of our time. He, he started this whole consciousness. He started this conscious community. Period. Period. Noble Drew Ali started this conscious community. Period. He started the Kemet. He, st I mean, like he, he, he started that. He started Kemet, Hebrew Israelites. Um, he brought Islam to the shores of America. Nation of Islam. All this is children of Noble Drew Ali, and that's facts. And y'all gonna see that in my series. But anyway, y'all, um, that's just big facts, y'all. So I get really, really, really passionate. Whenever somebody speaks out about one of our ancestors, don't speak on ours. Period. Like, for real, for real. And that's why me, Savvy Indigenous, that's why I'm going to take on the, uh, welcome everyone. Make sure you hit that like button. Louis B. Spilt. I don't know how you know, bro, but you know. Hey, money love. Louis B. Spilderberg. Hey, everybody, make sure y'all hit that like when you come in. But, hey, Louis B. Spilderberg, what up? I got a new email address. It's T-H-E-M-U-H-D-T-R-I-B-E. But I'm, I can hit you up on any of my email addresses. I think you have my main email address. I'm going to hit you up. Bro, I need some instrumentals, bro. Uh, check out my music playlist, bro. I didn't took the music thing to a whole nother level. I'm just, I need instrumentals. I need beats. Hey, I'm trying to, uh, my brother got a show out there in Atlanta. He do Christian music. He coming, we coming out there in, I think, March. So I'm trying to link up with you in March. We coming to the A in March. I don't know if you're still in Georgia, but we coming out there in March. So I'm trying to link up with you, get in the studio, maybe get a little video shot or something. So we got to build, bro. But I love you, brother. I'm glad you tapped in. That's what's up. I see that YouTube is starting to get my little, throw me back in the algorithm. But right now, we in no, we we on the subject of Moors, Noble Dry Lee, Black, Blackism, Blackish, and all these type of things. What's good, bro? Man, it's, it's all love, man. It's all love. Uh. That cheered me up, bro, because the devil had just came through here. But you cheered me back up, bro. For y'all that just coming in, man, know that y'all tuned in to Chief Savvy Indigenous. Hiya, hiya, hiya power. Back in the booth. And we rocking out like that all 2020. Turtle Island Easy. Peace. Peace. 
Hey, I see they got the they getting your brother back in the algorithm. We got the we got the tribe touching in, man. I love you all. I missed you all. I know y'all missed me. We building. So right now we're in um 1913 AD. We're still painting the picture, right? Because that's what that's what a master storyteller does. Master builder, we gotta build it up. So It's not a cigarette, by the way. It's not a blunt. It's a cigar, y'all. I break the filters off, smoke it like that. Just, you know, cringe off the little, the little what's call it. But peace, everybody. Peace. Now, check me out. So, what Noble Jura Ali did in that time, look at the time frame. 1913 AD, the Industrial Revolution going on. New technology coming out. Information is traveling fast, faster than they've ever seen it by way of train, locomotion, which was just coming out, by way of um Okay, okay, that's a bet, fam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I appreciate you. I appreciate you tapping in. Everybody, all ten of y'all that's in here, I appreciate y'all tapping in. Like one hundred straight up. I'm gonna make sure y'all get y'all wrenches. Um the American gonna get his wrench. Turtle Island needs you, Louis B. Spielberg. I'm going to wrench y'all up. The wrench mean y'all rocking out with, you know what I'm saying? Y'all rocking out with me. The wrench don't mean, you know, delete people and delete comments and stuff. Y'all know what I'm saying. Anyway, um, yeah, yeah, appreciate it. Now, um, check me out. So, I'm painting the picture right now of how this day and era is the same exact day and era of Noble Drew Ali and how you can't shoot the messenger. That's the main topic. You cannot shoot the messenger. When shooting down the information, don't shoot down the messenger. Yes, we have to, as a community, we must shoot down this term called more. Okay, okay. Thank you for dropping that playlist. Check out that playlist, y'all. Check out them playlists. Make sure y'all add my playlist to y'all channel and make sure y'all create playlists of y'all own. Appreciate it, Money Love. Now, look. 1913 AD. Noble Drew Ali started the Moorish Science Temple of America, or it was called the Moorish, I mean, the Holy Canaanite Temple. Either or, but we're going to stick to the script. 1913 CE, which is Christian era, Noble Drew Ali started the Moorish Holy Temple of Science, or the Moorish Holy, I mean the Moorish Science Temple of America, or the Moorish Holy Temple of Science, either or, whichever one was incorporated, he started that. Now the term, now Noble Jura Ali, let's, let's just see. Right now, this is a hundred years later. We're just now trying to question this term more. 100 years later. We're questioning a legacy. We're not questioning the legacy of Noble Drew Ali. That should not be questioned. We're questioning this term. We are at a point after a century has passed. We are at a point in time where we are saying, is there a better term for us? So we shouldn't slander. We shouldn't um, throw the dude to the mud because he gave us a term that empowered us. That started all the great revolutions of this time. You get what I'm saying? Without Noble Drew Ali, there is no Black Panthers. Without Noble Drew Ali, there is no Cripple Blood. Without Noble Drew Ali, there is no Gangster Disciple, no Vice Lord. Without Noble Drew Ali, there is no Hebrew Israelite. There is no Kemetic Science. There is no More Science Temple of America. There is no Nation of Islam without Noble Drew Ali. Do y'all understand that? There is none of these things. Without him coming and doing what he did, there is none of these things. Look it up, and that's facts. That's facts. All right, check me out, though. I'm not defending anybody. Y'all know I'm unbiased. I'm unbiased, except when it comes to our ancestors. We're not going to disrespect our ancestors. Not over here this way. And nobody else is going to do it in their lane, because then they're going to bring me into their lane, and they don't want me over there. You know what I'm saying? Nobody don't want me in their lane, and I don't mind swerving. I slam right now. I'm a deep diver, big speaker. Anyway. Uh, I am indigenous, realist, the realest. Uh, I am indigenous, realist, the realest, the realest, the realest. Uh. I am indigenous, realist, the realest, the realest, the realest, uh, I am indigenous, go, go, 50 on me, not stacks, talking about caliber, ha! I'm the realest, I do this shit without a fucking manager, Whoa. these nigga feds, they got white boys, open the handle, straight scammers, 
Leeching out the community like scavengers. Kill em. I am in business, raised by the tribe, not villagers. I have no time for the villagers, still stay straight like villagers. Bang! You don't hear it, but you feel it, bruh. I kill a beat like a scrimmage. I gang teeth like a damage. Play you two like a blemish. Can't let a dude stop my mission. You scam gang bang, come a crib. Now I bring out for the children. Bang real hard for humanity of living. See through phones, they be glitching. Key favorite coach was his image. Damn. Got a passion for knowledge, plus I'm glifted. Raised up high on my square, I'm uplifted. <laughs> Y'all ain't even hear me say glifted, right? <laughs> like, like Hyrule glifted. Like, like glifted. Like, you know, I put like lifted with glyph. Man, y'all get that shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm indigenous and realist, the motherfucking realist, and I'm gone. Shout out to Louis B. Spielderberg. I hope I did him justice.